Here we have a question. In this question, we have to sketch the path of bird between t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 seconds. And also, we have to calculate the velocity acceleration vector of the bird as a function of time. And also, we have to find the magnitude and direction of the bird's velocity and acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds. And also, we have to sketch the velocity acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds at the instant and also show is it increasing or decreasing and also show is the bird turning or if we can show that what would be the direction of the velocity or acceleration we have to sketch the graph so here we are given the x coordinate of bird with respect to time which is alpha t and the y coordinate of bird with respect to time which is 3 meter minus beta t square where the value of alpha is given to us which is 2.4 meter per second and the value of beta is given to us which is 1.2 meter per second so from here first of all we can write the position vector of the bird which is r vector we can write it as alpha t i cap plus 3.0 meter minus beta t square j cap. This is going to be the position vector of the bird. So from here we can differentiate position vector with respect to time and find velocity vector. And if we find the velocity vector we can differentiate velocity vector with respect to time and find acceleration vector. So here as we are given the x component and y component. So first of all in order to sketch the path of the bird we will find x component of bird and y component of bird with respect to time from t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 seconds so x component is alpha t so we can write the value of alpha so from here we can write the x component x t equal to 2.4 meter per second into t same for y t which comes out to be 3 meter minus 1.2 meter per second square t square we'll name it as equation number 2 now we can substitute the value of t equal to 0, t equal to 1 and t equal to 2. So from here we can get the coordinates as you can see. And as we get the coordinates we can sketch them easily on the graph. This is the coordinate at t equal to 0 seconds. This is the coordinate at t equal to 1 second and this is the coordinate at t equal to 2 seconds. So now let's move forward. Here we have to determine the velocity and the acceleration vector of the bird as a function of time where the value of x coordinate of the bird with respect to time is given to us which is alpha into t while the value of y coordinate is given to us which is 3 meter minus beta into t square so as we differentiate the x component we can find the velocity in x direction and as we differentiate the y component we can find the velocity in y direction as we differentiate the velocity in x direction we can find the acceleration in x direction and as we differentiate the velocity in y direction we can find acceleration in y direction so from here we can find the x component of velocity y component of velocity x component of acceleration and y component of acceleration after that we will take the magnitude by using Pythagoras theorem where we can write the magnitude of velocity as v equal to under root of vx square plus vy square while the magnitude of acceleration can be written as a equal to under root of ax square plus ay square but in this question we have to determine the velocity and acceleration vector of the bird as a function of time so here we will just differentiate it so as we can see we can write the value of velocity vector that is differentiation of x component of position with respect to time plus the differentiation of y component of position with respect to time. This is i cap and this is j cap as you can see here. So from here we can write velocity vector v as we take the differentiate it comes out to be alpha i cap minus 2 beta t j cap where i cap represents the velocity of the bird with respect to time in x direction where j cap represents the velocity of the bird in y direction so now if we differentiate it one more time we can find the value of acceleration vector as we can write a vector equal to dv by dt 
So from here we can write a vector as minus 2 beta j cap where j cap represents that the acceleration of the bird is only in y direction and this negative sign indicates that the acceleration of bird is in negative y direction. So from here the acceleration vector can be written as minus 2 beta j. Now let's move forward here we have to find the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds. So here as we know the value of velocity vector with respect to time where we know the value of vx and we know the value of vy with respect to time. So we will substitute the value of t as 2 seconds so from here we can get the value of vx and vy and the magnitude can be written as under root of vx square plus vy square while the direction can be written as tan theta where theta would be the direction angle which can be written as vy divided by vx so from here we can find the direction and same for the acceleration so here we are given the value of x t which is alpha t and the value of y t which is given to us 3 meter minus beta t square so now let's find the value of velocity as t equal to 2 seconds as we substitute the value of t equal to 2 seconds we can find it as 2.4 meter per second i cap and minus of 4.8 meter per second j cap where this represents the velocity in y direction and this represents the velocity in x direction and this represents the magnitude that comes out to be 5.36 meter per second now let's find the direction angle so as we discussed we can write the value of tan theta as vy divided by vx so from here we can rewrite the equation for theta which comes out to be tan inverse vy divided by vx so from here we can find the value of theta that comes out to be minus 63.4 degree if we measure the angle in clockwise direction with respect to positive x-axis it can be said as minus 63.4 degree if we measure in anti-clockwise direction which can be measured as 296.5 degree now let's find the value of acceleration that comes out to be 2.4 meter per second so here we can see that the acceleration is purely in y direction and this negative sign represents it in minus y direction so we can say if we measure angle in this direction it is 90 degree and if we measure angle in this direction it can be said as minus 2 it can be said as 270 degree if we measure it as anti-clockwise it is told as 270 degree while it is measured in clockwise direction with the positive x-axis it is measured as 90 degree here we can see the magnitude of acceleration comes out to be 2.4 meter per second square so here we can write the value of theta as minus 90 degree or 270 degree so we are considering here measured angle in anti-clockwise direction from the positive x-axis so here the value of angle is 270 degree now let's move forward here we have to determine the velocity acceleration vector at t equal to 2 seconds and the speed is increasing or decreasing at that instance so as we know we have found the velocity vector which was in this direction and we have also find the acceleration vector which was in this direction as you can see in this figure so here we can say that the graph of acceleration vector at t equal to 2 second is shown in this figure and we can say that the bird is having acceleration in downward direction and the velocity of the bird is in this direction as you can see in this figure so we can say that the bird is increasing its speed towards right in this direction thank you